everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. I am Alex the Hanging Gamer, and in the last episode we have started exploring the worst dungeon in Zelda history. Which, for some reason I think is more... Uh, has been very benevolent with us, because this is the Master Quest version, and the Master Quest version isn't really as bad as the original version of this dungeon. So, guys, remember that this is a multi-episode series of videos, so if you haven't seen the previous episode, I strongly recommend you to hit the card above us. Thanks so much, and let's proceed. So, as I was saying in the previous episode, we have started exploring this dungeon, and not getting so confused, but still a little confused, because I don't remember many things about this dungeon in Master Quest. So, for example, in this room, originally, you would you would need to shoot a switch that is right around here, but I think that in the Master Quest, they put the switch right below here, but I don't remember exactly where. Oh my god. Did I set myself up for this amount of problems? Okay. Okay. Ah yes, this is also new. Obviously originally in the original version of this game. Yeah, these guys wouldn't show up, so you need to fight them. Okay? Fight them to the death. Okay. So the three of, of them are dead. Wait, so I needed to do that anyway? Oh my god. You know what guys? I don't care if this is a blatant waste of my fairies, I'm going to use one right now because I don't want Navi to be screaming at us. Hey! 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 Okay. So. Okay. So, if I recall correctly, I would use my hook shot right here. Well, long shot. Long shot. Excuse me. Okay. And then I'm going to use the launch shot here to get back to this room. And I want to be cautious because I don't remember if the light light that usually was in here is, is hidden around here. So. Anyways, normally this dungeon is considered to be one of the worst dungeons ever in Zelda history. Eh, but I think that there is a big redeeming quality in this inside this dungeon, and you will see what what I mean exactly when I cross this door. So let's open up. Okay, and we are going to fight a mini boss, a very unusual mini boss. Okay, so normally to make this mini boss appear, you need to cross to the other side of the room. And then, you will see that there is a shadowy version of Link waiting for us. This is the minute boss of this dungeon, Shadow Link. And normally, the way this mini boss works is that he has just as much health as you do. And he takes the same amount of damage as you do. So, this mini boss is not quite easy to fight because he can read all your attacks, but if you have the big Goron Sword, you have a big leg up against this guy. Okay, if you didn't have the big Goron Sword up until this point, well, the other way that you can cheese this guy and beat him easily is through the use of Dint Fire. Guys, how many times have I said in this let's play, let's kill, the, let's kill it with fire? So you can do that very literally in this case. You can fight, you can kill your own shadow using fire. Isn't that amazing? But anyways, I want to conserve some magic, so I'm not going to continue pushing this line. Well, this method. Okay, so I'm going to fight him normally. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, with the big iron sword, he is very vulnerable to stabbing motions. Very vulnerable. So, stab him, and he's dead. Okay. 
So, in the normal version of the Ocarina of Time game, this, the next room is where you would normally find the long shot. But in this case, guys, well, remember, a randomizer, a, you're not going to get such luck. So, considering I am very lucky that I found that fairy, I'm going to grab it in a bottle, put it away in a bottle. And, let's see what's next for us, okay? So, we're going to shoot the switch with an arrow. Alright, I remember now. You needed to use the hook shot. Okay. So, this will open up this exploration. Well, the exploration of this room. And, what the hell is wrong with the camera today? Seriously, Link has been going crazy, has been, well, I don't know if it is the emulator, the controllers, I don't know what, what is causing these glitches with the camera, guys, I'm really sorry about it. Especially, especially if you are a, well, if you suffer from motion sickness. So, in this case, instead of submerging using the iron boots, it's better if you stick around well, ha 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 ha, bad joke. It, it's better if you stick around using the, the hook shot in these pillars. Why? Well, they are laid out very conveniently for you. Okay. Let's see. What's here? Oh, phew. Okay, and as you can hear, right around this area, there should be a golden sculpture where is the golden sculpture Where is the golden sculpture I don't remember. But there is a <laughs> sound. So there should be a golden sculpture nearby. But where? Where was that pest? Let's move on and see if we can find it. Hmm. Where is the golden sculpture left? I heard. Oh well, I only need like three golden sculptures to collect the final reward from the, the sculpture breaking gifts. So, the sculpture curse breaking gifts. So, oh my god, I really hope. I really hope my golden gauntlets aren't locked behind the 50 golden sculpture lab threshold. Okay. Eh. You know what? I'm going to use the hover boots. We haven't been giving those uh, a lot of love lately, so. Anyways. Hmm. Where was the golden sculpture lab? Not inside it here. Oh well, like I said, I only need like two more golden sculptures in order to get my- Oh! No, wait, never mind. I only need one more golden sculpture in order to collect my final reward from going a sculpture busting, so... Eh, maybe I could get it in the Shadow Temple. So, let's see... Hmm, what am I going to do in this room? I don't remember. Alright, so let's dive down with the iron boots and see what we can find in here. So, normally, I believe you wouldn't have that many keys inside. Okay, so let's use the long shot to grapple over here and let's explore this little alto. This is suspicious, guys. I think there, I think there must be an imposter among us. Nah, I'm kidding. Okay, stupid, a stupid reference to, uh, from 2020. So, anyways, let's see. Okay, so let's grab the inspire once again. Seriously, I, I don't get. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still think this temple is a hole either way. 
doesn't matter if you're doing it on Master Quest or if you're doing it in normal mode. I don't care. I think that the Water Temple is god awful. Okay? The Master Quest mode has a little leg up. It has a little leg up over his normal version counterpart. But if, if you have if you were to ask me, it would be like if you were asking me if I prefer getting slapped in the face or or getting or getting punched in the gut. Okay? I think that both are very inconvenient and very annoying and I wouldn't prefer any of those choices, but if I have to choose, probably Probably I would prefer the slap in the face because I would hate to to be punched in the stomach and lose my breath. Anyways, okay. So what am I going to do in here? Hmm. Okay. First of all, let's see what's what's below us. Okay. I think they programmed the randomizer to have at least. To have at least one very important item inside a, a big chest, but don't quote me on that. Okay, it's been like two months. It's been like two months ever since I randomized this seed, so don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. So, hit the switch to make the water level go up, and then, if I recall correctly, I need it. I needed to use the inspire to activate another switch or something. Uh huh. Yes, I. That was the answer. I needed to use the inspire to light up torches. So seriously, this may be a water temple, but I'm using more fire than 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 even the fire temple, which I shall not mention ever again. Okay, so the fire medallion. This means that if I complete this temple, I am going to get. <gasps> I am going to get something, something instead of the nocturne of shadow. Okay, so I really need to get my thinking hat on and see what can I do to complete this dungeon. Okay, so how many chests? First of all, how many chests am I missing? Apparently I'm not missing any chests. So where the hell am I supposed to collect my Where the hell am I going to collect the the boss key from? Because I'm missing the boss key. And why is the compass not showing me uh, where are the other chests? Because I'm pretty sure that there must be at least a few more chests around here. I am confused. My brain hurts. Okay. Alright. What did I do here? Okay, maybe I needed to float up. Yeah, I think so. so yeah, definitely I needed to float up. So let's press the switch and this will open up this room right below us. And this will remain open for the remainder of the of this exploration. So what the hell am I missing in here? What else am I missing in here? Let's see. Have I have I done that room? I don't think I have done that room. Why the hell did I forget about that room? Okay, so... Oh well, let's lower the water levels. I mean, it is not such a hassle in this dungeon, in this version of the dungeon to go up and down with the water levels. But still, I am very confused. Link, link, link. Okay. 
What do I do? It's obviously not this. What did I do? What did I need to do in this room? I don't remember. It should have been the torches, but considering how this Oh my god, I'm a, I am such an idiot. No, but I already sold this room. Hmm. So, where could the boss key be? Where could that boss key be at? Hmm. Okay, so let's explore in here. Let's explore this little hole. Okay. Okay. This is where you normally would go to go grab the boss key in the original version of this dungeon, but let's see what is inside. Game, come on, cooperate, game. Don't be rude. Why is it done? Why is the compass not showing me the chest? Normally, the compass would show you the chest. It's a it's a written rule in Zelda. Why is the compass not showing me any chest? There should be more chests. So uh, maybe I should step up on that brick and look around. There should be an easy solution for this. Maybe not. You know what? I'm going to scout the room again from from the surface. So let's see what am I missing here. Okay, so I cannot proceed through that through that locked gate. So, what could be the logical solution? Aha! Scarecrow sign! Okay. So, if I recall correctly. Let's play the scarecrow song, which is also the Goron's lullaby in Majora's Mask. And yes, okay, okay. See, guys, this is why it's necessary to have the Scarecrow Song in Master Quest. I freaking knew I would need it eventually. So, hmm, what is behind this door? I wonder. Is there something of use for us? Maybe. Look at all these torches. Okay, I think I know exactly what am I going to do. Okay, so let's up then let's hit the switch right over here. Okay. okay, and let's activate this. Uh oh, I don't have enough magic. Oh, thank you, game. Um, uh, wait, what? Why did it my magic bar increase? I just got a magic jar. Guys, you just saw that. Now that I think about it, did I get a raise from... So, what will I do in this room? Because the game is... Oh, I have a green potion. I am such an idiot. I completely forgot about my green potion. So, let's drink it up. Okay. And let's do this again from the top. Okay, so I'm going to raise the water levels from here. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot to put back the books at me. Let's open up this switch up and make it 
back to the sphere. And no matter how long it takes me, I'm going to finish this dungeon right now. Huh. Wait, why didn't that turn on? Link! Come on, come on, come on! Fire, fire, fire! Damn it. Okay, will I have enough magic for one more round of this fire? Will I? Okay. Okay, so wait until the platforms are raised. Yes, I have one more! To need more magic. Okay, so let's explore right here. Okay, so if you go down here in the normal version of the game, this is where you would normally get your well your chest for the for the big key, the bus key. But uh, let's see what's inside of this room. Okay, so Oh come on! Game, really? I have to fight another mini boss? Come on, game. Okay. <gasps> the boss key! Okay, now I got it. So, if I haven't found the major item of this dungeon, then shouldn't this mean that the boss will probably have it? Okay, I'm still curious about that puzzle, so I'm going to see what I can do to figure out that puzzle. So I'll be with you guys uh, as soon as I figure out how to solve that puzzle. Okay, be right back. So now we're back. Sorry about that guys, I decided to to pause for a little bit the recording, but something stupid really, really happened. Uh, my neighbors started playing a lot of very loud music, and because my microphone is so sensitive, I needed to stop the recording for longer than I intended. And because of that, for because I left this window unattended for so long, uh, well, the game collapsed. I lost all my progress. I had to make it all the way back there. But well, uh, while I was uh, uh, well, while the recording was paused, I decided to investigate uh, more about the dungeon, uh, the water temple in Master Quest. Because again, I am not an specialist in Master Quest, and I discovered that uh, this dungeon by nature is very very short in fact Nintendo seems to be apologizing for how awful the original temple was by making this this temple very short and straightforward and that room that I was trying to solve uh, before before all of this happened uh, only yielded a, only would yield me a sculptula because I was playing catch up I accidentally collected a sculptula of screen, which brought me to 50 sculptulas. So I decided not to torture myself any further because of that situation, and proceed and proceed like normal through the temple. So I'm so sorry about this, guys. I am terribly sorry. I'm really upset because my neighbors have no respect for for well the others and they were playing really 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 annoying and irritating old mexican music by from a from a pop rock group that was created uh, to publicize a teenage drama opera soap opera called rebelde and uh, I really hated that soap opera with a passion. I fucking despised it. So for me, 
It was two hours of sheer torture. Sheer torture. So, anyways, now that I know that I can probably trust that this boss is going to have the, the item I'm going to get from this dungeon, well, let's go and face this boss. This is the parasitic amoeba called Morpha. Morpha is considered to be one of the easiest bosses in the Legend of Zelda history because the only thing you need to do is just pull out her, pull out her, its heart from the water. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, you need the long shot to pull out his, its heart from the water, and then if you actually continue pulling it towards the corner, shit! Come on. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to wait for it a little bit. And come on. Okay. If you pull it up all the way to this corner then ah come on the button i forgot to press the button ah i cannot concentrate i'm really still reeling from from that little annoyance anyways so back it up to the corner and it's dead Oh my god, I'm really, I'm really, really sorry, guys. I, I was a little out of my head. Now that, it, now that we have officially killed Morpha, well, uh, Lake Hylia will fill up again. But uh, we don't have any more business, to, anything else to do in Lake Hylia. So after that, after this uh, cutscene. I am going to go straight up to Kakariko Village and collect the little reward that I would get from Sheik. Oh no. No. Not the fucking ice arrows. Come on. Did I do this only to get ice arrows? One of the most useless items in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ugh. So, anyways, I am going to go to Kakariko Village and claim my rewards for slaying 50 sculptures, and that little and that little reward that Sheik, Sheik has for us after after collecting the first three medallions. Uh, no, I didn't borrow the Keaton mask. Sorry. So, anyways, we are going to watch Lake Hylia fill up, even though we are technically inside the forest. <sighs> anyways, so let's walk to Kakariko Village. Okay, so play this song. That you guys already know so well. And let's go. Okay. And so, move it on, move it on. And we are going to watch a small cutscene. Well, the randomizer will skip it. But you can see Kakariko village is on fire, she wa wakes us up, teaches us the Nocturne of Shadow, and we get a heart piece. Uh, I'm getting really upset. Okay, so let's collect our final reward from the Golden Sculpture Lab. Please, please at least be the golden gauntlets or the hammer. Please, I need... What the fuck? Oh wait, it isn't this guy, I think it's this guy. 
Megatomb Hammer! Oh my god! With this... With this, I could technically explore a little bit more Ganon's Tower. And this lets me finish the fucking Fire Temple. Ugh, I hate the Fire Temple in Master Quest. It's not like it's an outstanding temple uh, normally, but in Master Quest is is a kick in the butt. So, anyways, I'm going to leave the episode here right now, guys. And today's question of the day is for you: Which boss in the Legend of Zelda series is the easiest to kill? As we could see, we just destroyed. The Parasitic Amoe Amoeba Morpha. So, leave a comment in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.